Uh, he was a standout player at TCU and went on to become a first round draft pick in the NFL. But Jeff Gladney was killed this morning in a car crash in downtown Dallas. Uh, Mike Leslie uh, joins us now and Mike Gladney suffered a few setbacks, but he, he really seemed to be back in the game before this accident. Yeah, Chris, I mean, it was just awful, awful news. Jeff Gladney had a very successful career at TCU, so much so that he was part of that history making TCU class that sent 10 players to the NFL in 2020's draft and had just signed the new contract with the Arizona Cardinals. But a horrible accident overnight in Dallas has taken Jeff Gladney's life at just 25 years old. This is video from the scene of the accident earlier this morning on Woodall Rogers. Detective Paul Raina told WFAA that, the, that it's believed that the victims were speeding in their vehicle and clipped another vehicle from behind. The speeding vehicle lost control apparently and struck the pier beam of the freeway and caught fire. Gladney and the woman that was with him both died in the accident. The TCU football program released a statement this afternoon. Athletic Director Jeremiah Donati saying that the program is devastated to learn of Gladney's passing. Said Gladney was routinely back on campus, including this spring for their practices and spring game, and saying he will be missed by the entire TCU community. Proof positive of that, just look at this series of tweets from his former teammate Jalen Rager, who played with him at TCU and is now with the Eagles. Rager pouring his heart out over the loss of Gladney, who he called his best friend multiple times. There were several other current and former teammates who shared their grief, including the Cardinals' J.J. Watt, George Iloka, who played with him in Minnesota, and more. Jeff Gladney, dead early this morning at just 25 years old.